What's up guys, Shockwave640 here, and today we're taking a look at the Super Deformed Aegis Gundam from Gundam Seed Destiny. Uh, so here it is, the Aegis Gundam. This is 261 in the BB Cinchy line. Uh, it does say Gundam Seed right up here. Um, 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 that's pretty much it. This doesn't have a scale because it is just a chibi style. There you can see the Aegis, Aegis Gundam in its secondary mode. Attacking what looks like the build strike, I think is what that is. Uh, there you can see its transformation. There's the pilot right there. And of course, you just have your transformation and some painted pictures and such. Like so. So there is that. This is not what the model looks like. Keep in mind, the model looks nothing like this. It looks very much different. So, setting that off to the side, let's bring in the Aegis Gundam. Actually, no, let's bring in the box first. So, on the box you have an... you have like a CGI style picture here. Uh, it does have the Gundam logo for Gundam Seed. It has Bandai, um, Generation Neo, Super Deformed, uh, Aegis Gundam, Gundam Seed. There you can see it's secondary mode. On the back you got nothing. Same picture there. Some junk. Uh, this is 500 yen, so about $5. I got this for $8, I believe. Um, there you can see some stuff and some things. And that's pretty much it. Um, extra pieces you hear rattling around in there are the poly caps, which are used for the joints. So, bringing in the secondary mode of the Aegis Gundam itself, we're going to take a look at the details. There you can see a beam cannon right there, or a hyper beam cannon, not exactly sure. It does have these four posable arms here um uh all the silver that you see on it you can see it's kind of crappy paint messed up right there but all the silver like right there on the arms on the shield all of that i painted there myself other than that you just have solid pink plastic and then you have this gray with the black stickers and then the only other amount of color you're going to get is this white and then the yellow on the head and that is pretty much it uh, very bland looking, but I do quite like it, so I just took a silver Gundam marker to color it up. So, uh, yeah. Um, it kind of looks like a squid to me. Uh, I think it's supposed to be flying this way, or it could be flying this way, or it really could fly either way, I think, because I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be the cockpit. It's got this, like, fin up here. Um, you can clearly see the ball joint just jutting out right there, and same thing with the fists. Um, everything else hides pretty well. Uh, you do have the ball joints here for the legs, so you can pose these around. You have the ball joint at the feet, and then you have the hinge here, the hinge here, and you have, since you have the ball joint, you can't go in and out. Uh, you do have the hinge here, you have the swivel here, you have the hinge there, you have the swivel there, you have the hinge there, and you have the hinge right here, and a double hinge right, or just a single hinge right there. So this mode is quite posable, and then technically you can move this section around, and you can split that to make it go down for the transformation. It is meant to just stay like this, though. So that uh, that pretty much sums that up. So setting it off to the side, like so. It's very hard to stand in this mode, um, because these little feet things, they do like to kind of cave in on themselves. So just let me angle the camera down, like so. There we go. Now let's bring in the size comparisons. And he keeps on falling. I'm just going to kind of let him fall and droop however he wants to. He's pretty much the same height. It makes him like half an inch taller. So uh, first of all, we have the BX Bricks inspired, uh, um, what are they called? Micro, micro figures minifigure I can't remember exactly what they're called but there will be a link in the description down below to his channel so that you can look them up but here is the uh, Bruticus that I built using that design so you can see how they scale together I may or may not do a, a review over this I don't think I'm going to because um, if you like I said if you want to see how to build not this one exactly because this is my own custom design but if you want to see how to build the base skeleton for this guy Go take a look at BX Bricks. Uh, he will show you. He has videos on how to build these guys and even make a combiner out of them and headmasters. And then he has his entire collection of Autobots, entire collection of Decepticons, so you can take a look at them. 
Um, here is a Dalek. Not exactly sure what specific Dalek toy this is. All I know is I got it at a local Hastings around my uh, hometown. So there you go. Uh, for Doctor Who, those for those who did not know. Uh, for a more recent line, there he is with the uh, Transformers Titans Return Autobot Hardhead. And for something from the exact same line, here it is with the Super Deformed Destiny Gundam, which I reviewed quite a while back. So there is that, setting him off to the side. Now let's get down to the transformation. Um, transformation is quite tricky, I have to say. You do kind of have to force things around other things. So first of all, what you want to do is just kind of open these up, straighten them out, like so. This just kind of gets everything out of the way. Um, they say to take off these pieces. You can do it without taking them off, but just to make things easier, I am going to take them off. And then you just want to kind of spread the legs. You want to rotate this to the side, bring it up, and as you bring it up, you're going to rotate it so that it faces forward like so. And then you can bring these legs down, you can rotate them, flip up the toe spike, and then you can open up the foot like so. So, flip up the toe spike, open, oh, rotate the foot, open up the foot, and there you have his legs done. Then you can come in here, you can pull the shield off, I just dropped the shield, you can pull the shield off of this bit, set that off to the side, pull the gun off of this one, which is quite hard to do, it is quite stuck in there. There you go, Let's see if we can get that without breaking it, because this... Plastic. Ugh, this, the plastic on this guy, oh man, the tolerances are quite ridiculous. So, getting the shield back, setting all that to the side. Um, I guess technically if you want to, you can just go ahead and peg these back on. Just completely up to you. They won't exactly fit on just yet, but uh, just bring this section right here, bring that down a little bit, like so. And then you're going to bring this up. It is going to tab in right there. Then you're going to bring that down. This does kind of get a little bit fiddly. Actually, before you do any of that, you want to actually bring these up. And then this tab will go into that slot, locking that into place. Do the same on this side, like so. Then you can bring this up, like so. And then you can bring the arms down, rotate them. And then you can angle this up and close that in, just like so, revealing the arm. And then you just flip up the shoulder pad, like so. There we go. His arm's kind of falling off. Just like so. So, do the same on this side. Just kind of fold everything back, like so. Sorry if that was all up in your face. Just kind of pop the arm back in if it comes loose on you. Kind of get him standing like so. Make sure his crotch plate is straight. It does like to get crooked sometimes. And then you can take these pieces here. It doesn't exactly matter where they go. I just kind of put them on. Um, not exactly exact. I'm not exactly how they're supposed. To, sure how they're supposed to go. Pretty sure they're supposed to go with this fin facing up. It just seems a little bit more natural to me. Another thing I do want to say about this model is the shade of pink that it is is a different shade of pink than it is in real life. On this, it's making it look like a, almost like a bright neon pink. Uh, in hand, it's more of a salmon color. That's really what it looks like. Um, pretty sure the, I think the high grade is actually this color, but this um, SD is more of a salmon color. Now, his shield does just have a little peg right there, which is going to that slot. So here's the shield. It is just solid pink plastic, but I did paint it silver, just because it looks so much better. So that just simply slots right into his arm, like so. And then here's his gun. Again, just solid gray plastic, no stickers, no nothing. And that just goes right into either one of his hands, just like so. And then to complete the transformation, you just grab his head, pop it on that ball joint. It is quite hard to do because there's no room. There we go. You can angle these shoulders down a bit if you wish because they are on that double hinge there we go there we go and there you have the super deformed aegis gundam so getting in close taking a look at the details again you got the silver sticker for the eyes you got that pink sticker there for the chin 
I did paint the Vulcans. Uh, they are kind of crappily done because my marker was starting to run out of ink. Uh, there you've got some more silver there. You got a blue sticker, a blue sticker, yellow V thin, surprisingly. And more black stickers here and there. Um, some more black stickers on this. And that's pretty much it. I didn't paint the back of these because I don't display them facing backwards anyways, so. Yeah, uh, let's do the size comparisons real quick. So we can get that over with. Uh, we have the Dalek right there. We have the BX Bricks Bruticus. So there's that. The super deformed Destiny Gundam. These two do look quite nice together. Um, by far, I say this one's way better, but this is a like $5 model kit. Um, definitely, definitely great for beginners if you want to start with something adorable, but easy. Start with this guy. Uh, this guy you can start out with if you want to. He just he looks a little bit more intimidating when it comes to starter Gundam, but they're both just about the same uh, difficulty when it comes to transforming them. So, there you go. Now, I am going to have to hurry and speed this up because my camera is about to die. So, there he is with Titan's Return Hardhead. Sorry, I'm going to have to rush this now. Now, let's get down to the voting and set him off to the side. Okay, for the voting, as usual, you would tap up there at the eye. And we have the Creo Transformers Constructicons Scorponok. Uh, I did build him using the Creo um, Destruction Site Devastator. I used all pieces from that. No extra pieces included, so that is quite neat. And then with the same set, I used it to build Omega Scrapper, who is my own uh, my own take on what Scrapper would look like if he were a city former. So, we have the Creo Destruction Site Scorponok Mock and the Hyper Scrapper Mock from the same set. Um, so if you want to see either one of these two, there is a voting up there at the top. And, well, guys, I am Shockwave640, and once again, check out BX Bricks. Don't forget to check him out. He's really cool. Um, and I guess to wrap up this review, let me set off these two to the side and update you on my 100 subscriber special mock that I am currently building. So, I am going to have to angle this way up because this guy gets huge. But, uh, here we have the big fella himself. So he is quite hard to stand. Again, he's not done. He is still missing a leg, but here he is. His arm's kind of jank, but uh, so there he is. Um, let me get his arm adjusted here. There we go. Uh, so here he is. He can't stand on his own yet. I am still um, having issues with uh, structural support, but there he is. Very cool. I do quite like him very much. So if you still can't tell who this is, then I'm um, sorry. Uh, you, I guess you need help, but uh. So there you go. Very cool. I do quite like him. He is my first large scale combiner and I think he's working quite well. Uh, again, I'm gonna have to give a shout out to my friend Harry Gordon for giving me the base design for the arms and a little bit on the body and the way that the limbs transform. Well guys, I am Shockwave640 and I'll have to be seeing you later. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and vote and check out BX Bricks. Well guys, I'll be seeing you later. That was the Aegis Gundam and I am Shockwave. So see you later. Peace.